Yes and uh, welcome all of you kwenye Dr. Melas lecture. Kwa mtu yote ambao umefanikiwa kuweza kupata wakati na saa kama uweza kuangalia kipindi hiki cha physics na concept yetu today we are going to analyze about the fluid dynamics. Tunataka kuangalia the dynamics of food the the cons- uh, fluid not food. So today we are going to cover this just a uh, little things ambao cha kwanza tunaenda kuangalia the concept of fluid motion then tutaenda kufika mpaka kwenye hichi kipindi mpaka kwenye the law of mass of what mass of continued law of mass continued so eh uh, tuendelee mbele alafu tujue huko mbele tutaingia kuanda kuenda kuangalia vitu gani sasa leo tutaenda kukava vitu simple tu just simple tu eh kwa hiyo sikitu cha kwanza ambacho tunaenda kukiangalia kwenye hii subtopic ni kwamba tunaenda kuangalia what is the watu tunapoongelea fluid dynamics tunaenda tunaongelea tu zile tabia za maji kwa sababu maji ni ni ni, ni, ni hawa ambao wanatumia kubombani kwenu ni ni kuonyeshe kitu fulani ngoja ni kuonyeshe kitu fulani anakuwa amepita kwenye pipe fulani. Kwa hiyo tunacho tunachoenda kuangalia leo hapa naenda kuangalia tabia ya maji ikiwa na ina flow kwenye hii pipe hapo. Au maji yenyewe anakuja yanaingia, yanatokea yanaingia yana huko yanatokea idara ya maji then yanatokea huko. Kwa hiyo tunatoangalia properties. Yaani kuna mechanism gani ambazo wanazifanya pale idara ya maji huko vitu gani wanavyokufanya kwa sedulation ambayo ndio kuleta maji mpaka kwenye nyumba zetu. Kwa hiyo the first concept we are going to cover hiyo tena kuangalia definitions ambazo kwenye hiyo definition tutaenda kuangalia what is the visco naambia mambo ya viscosity tutaenda kuya consider humo yes let me type in into this chapter uh, so kitu cha kwanza ambacho tutaenda kukiangalia tutaenda kuangalia compressible and incompressible fluid kwa hiyo tunapo angalia compressible and incompressible fluid tunaongelea mambo ya change in what in density a fluid is considered to be compressible if it density change kwa hiyo tunapo umake kuna compressible compressible and incompressible what incompressible what fluid incompressible compressible compressible fluids So tunapoja kuongelea kwamba kwenye concept ya what ya compressible fluid tunapoongelea compressible fluid it is the density it is a, a fluid whose density change the density change na incompressible fluid it is the fluid which what it density does not what change and kwa hiyo that is the concept of what compressible and what incompressible fluid is. Compressible fluid is the fluid considered the fluid is considered to be compressible if it density change with its pressure au non visco non incompressible fluid uh, liquid of the other hand is considered to be incompressible since its density remain the same even if it is pressure changes kwa hiyo sababu unapoongelea density density inaweza kupungua kama change in pressure yatokea kwa sababu pressure ndio inayosababisha compression kwa sababu unapoongelea density unapoongelea density unaongelea what mass of what of a body so kama haitatokea compression ya pressure hauwezi ka change what volume wala utaweza ku change mass of something sababu ili stone uweze uweze kuibadilisha box lile ulipunguzie pressure lazima utalicompress utaliminya ukiliminya and then utapunguza density ya ile fluid weather iliyo ndani ya mwili nayo so and the fluid whose density change with the it pressure and the incompressible fluid it is a fluid which its density does not change it density does not not change 
So hizo definition nakuwa na ziandika Kwa sabu nakuwa mtiano na uliza hivyo What is compressible fluid What is compressible fluid So hizo definition na ziandika hapo And then let's jump into a Another definition which is called a viscous and non-viscous fluid Viscosity eh, Tunaungiria it is the friction wa, Kuna maswali wanauliza Maswali wanakuta na kuuliza Na kuambia what is the viscosity 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 So viscosity is very just simple Is a uh, friction Is a friction Friction That Exists between two two adjacent adjacent me up on one go on with the adjacent layers of the body of the fluid and go take the I take an example this is the pipe Asa maja ikiwa na flow Yani ya flow tu kama flow Yani ya na flow kuna wako na ya na flow in term of layers Na flow in term of layers Ya nenda in term of layers Hizi lea ndo tuna tengeneza au maja mbona unawe kwenye bomba Na ya ayako tu ya mungana kila sehivu Kwa the hile na ndia friction na mbwene sabisha Maja weze kutembea hile na we exist between These layers of the fluid is what we call it what A viscosity so kwa hiyo that is what we call what eh, viscosity hasa hii viscosity sio kwenye kila fluid na kuwepo kuna baadhi za baadhi za fluid hazina hizo viscosity so hiyo uh, fluid ziko za aina mbili kuna viscous fluid viscous fluid ambayo ni kwa mfano engine oil kwa ajili ya kulainisha vile vyuma engine au zile oil au zile lubricant lubricant na ongele vile vile inishi kama grisi yale mafuta ya chereani lubricant naitua lubricant nasika ya naina kabadisha oil wana oil imeka mda mrefu kwenye gali kwa hiyo yuma vinaanza kusagana that is what we call it viscous fluid and non viscous fluid non viscous fluid kwa hapo ndo uwe natengeneza notes mwenye ya hapo ambao mfano wa nani viscous fluid ni tunaongelea water water is an example of what nani viscous what nani viscous fluid so hiyo ndo concept kwa hapa tukaenda kuangalia viscous fluid and nani viscous fluid so kwenye viscosity it is the friction that exists between two adjacent layers of the of the fluid that which is moving relative to each other na baada kujua kama ni viscous viscosity it the friction exists na tumkuja kuona kwamba so kila aina ya fluid ina hiyo viscosity amna kisio kila ina ya fluid inakuwa na viscosity so there are two types of what of fluid there are viscous fluid and non viscous fluid na tunapoangalia non viscous fluid as the fluid which have as in hizo viscosity hizo layer zake as we move in term of frictions the the hizo ndo tunaziita non viscous fluid kwa hiyo that is the concept of what viscosity So let's jump into a steady and na and a turbulent flow. Kuna kuna swali na kuliza what is steady flow? Ndo maswali yake uko kwenye ndo wapi? Kwenye hii Maswali yake kwenye fluid dynamics. Na kuza what is the steady flow? So let's jump into another chapter which we are going to discuss about the steady flow. Uh, so nenda kuangalia the steady flow. Steady flow kwenye steady flow hapa it is very simple tu kama it is steady flow is a flow on which the velocity of particles at different at different point point of a flowing fluid is 
Tory Wood is the same. Mama ni aina ni aina ya flow ambayo kwa mfano tukichukua bomba. Tutaweka hapo bomba letu. Sasa ilika kuna particles na zina move hapo. Kuna particles na move, kuna particles. Ya yao ndo maji yanatembea hapo. Yaani tunamaanisha kwamba tukichukua tukiweka hapa tukipima velocity ya particle at this point A. And then ndio tukaja kwenye point B hapa. Kwenye point B kaja tukapima velocity at this point then tukapima at this point so tunapoingilia steady flow ni kwamba tukichukua va lazima ije kuwa sawa na vb that is called what a steady flow kwamba ile speed and velocity and density and the pressure at each point of the fluid flow remain at constant ukisema tu velocity peke yake ukichanganya velocity density na pressure at each point is the same inakuwa haina tatizo kwa hiyo that is what we call it a fluid steady flow sasa what happen when hii principle ikabadilika ndio unje kupata kitu ambacho kinaitwa turbulent flow turbulent flow hii flow ina hii flow inaje kutokea baada ya hichi kitu cha hapa juu kwa 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 inverse kwamba if va is not equal to vb yani tukaje tuka measure velocity and density ya point a na point b kwenye ile pipe yetu na roja ukapata kwamba at this point tukipima hapa velocity na hapa zinakuwa ziko tofauti sasa hii ndio inaitwa tablet flow coat is the inverse ya hii juu definition kwamba it is a flow is a flow in which speed or velocity of ndio kwa sababu velocity ukasema na density ukaongezea ili kuongeza uzito wa definition densa ukisema ukisema speed ya velocity peke yake haina shida in speed and velocity and density of a fluid uh, fluid is not the same at every point at every point at every point in a pipe in a pipe so hiyo ndo inaitwa so hiyo inaitwa hiyo inaitwa turbulent flow kwa hiyo sasa what is happen ikaja kutokea turbulent flow tutaje ku, ku resolve vipi unapofanya tutaka tumeje pressure sasa hapa ndo una kitu kile inaitwa reynolds number kwa hiyo ndo hichi kitu kiko hapa inaitwa reynolds number kwa hiyo sasa kwenye hiyo aina hiyo ya flow kabla ukija ukipata velocity inakuwa directly proportional to the viscosity and the inverse proportional to the radius ngoni condition ukipata velocity kwenye turbulent flow sasa turbulent tabu turbulent flow niyo hiyo ina ya flow kwa sababu ukichukua va is not equal to vb kesi yake ya kutoka kwamba velocity ya, ya particles inakuwa directly proportional to the viscosity of the fluid hii alama ni alama ya viscosity of the fluid kwamba the directly proportional to the viscosity of fluid and inverse proportion to the radius and what density of the fluid so each kitu ni kondoa proportionality constant hiyo pata kwamba v is equal to constant viscosity ala times what density of the fluid ndio kitu ambacho anakiongelea hapo so hiyo case ndio kuimaliza kwa kufanya hiyo what is hiyo constant k value yake ni ngapi hii unajua kuna, kuna kitu kinaitwa reynolds number hizi constant hizo zinapatikana na balatos so mtu anapiga mahesabu kwa kuna kitu kuna kitu hichi ambacho kinaitwa reynolds number kwa every fluid inakuwa na reynolds number yake kwa then the formula now will change and it will become to be v is equal to reynolds number viscosity of the fluid radius of the pipe and the 
density of the fluid so hii ndo formula kwa sasa kuna case mbalimbali hii hii Reynolds number kuonyesha hapo case ya kwanza mm, when uh, Reynolds number ala hii is less than hiyo 2000 kwa the fluid flow remain is lamina au steady kwamba ukija ukipata ala hii is less than 2000 This is called a steady flow. Ti flow. Au lamina flow. Na msali mwingine nakuuliza lamina. Lamina flow. Ako ukija kutana na swali natumia lamina flow maana ana maanisha ni steady flow. Na if ala e is greater than hiyo 2000 then this is called a turbulent flow. Turbulent flow. Hapa mwanzo ni tutaongelea tuta tu kwanza concept za kija kusolve huko mbele. Sababu hapa mna maswali mengi hapa. Ifika ni maswali machache sana ambao anakuuliza kutumia form. Kwa lakini form yake ni rahisi tu hivyo. Hamna dawa za kuchanganya. Hii hapa anakupa, anakupa, anakupa vitu hapo. Then ndio kutafuta. So let's continue. E, na kitu ambacho kinakuwa kinaendelea hapo ni kwamba tunaenda kuangalia kitu kingine ambacho ni the law of mass of mass continuity kama tulivyoongea pale mwanzoni kwamba the e law inasemaje inasema kwamba mass of the fluid entering per second at one point is equal to the mass of fluid yani simple tu hivyo ni kwamba uh, uh, to demonstrate hapo uone straight hapo uone concept uh, iko simple tu kwamba kwenye aina yote ya flow anapokuambia hapo kwamba mass of the fluid entering per second maka ninapoongelea something per second tunaongelea rate at one point is equal to the mass of the fluid leaving per second at another point traveling provided that there are no leak or sink of the fluid yani kama ukichukua hivi mass at hizi let's call this is side a and this is side b so mass at point a per time hiyo anything per, uh, per unit time it is called a rate kwa hiyo nasema rate at 28 is equal to rate at 20 b kwa maana ni mass at 20 b over time yani akichukua hichi kitu ni sawa na hichi kitu so from there tunaweza kupata formula kwamba tukisema mass at 28 over t is equal to mass at 20 b over t eh what's come up hichi kitu je kwenda wapi labda kufika kwamba mass what is mass najua density ziko to mass over volume eh kwa mass ziko to density times volume so what is volume volume tunajua ziko to density area times what radius hiyo ambayo ni length ya whatever the case kwa hiyo ndo mchoro mchoro ambao yame uchora ni huo hapa kwa hiyo that is the case mm -hmm. kwa hiyo hicho ndo kitu lakini ninapoongelea hii ala na watu naongelea changes at a certain distance watu naongelea lengths hapa kwa hiyo lengths to make ndo hapa kuna change in lengths hapa <coughs> so to is equal to density Yeah. area alafu na hiyo change in in weight na at this side at this point here kuna kuwa na change in weight hii ni x a na hii itakuwa change in x b change in x b so itakuwa ni change kwa mass formula yake mass itakuwa ni hii hapa so hii formula ndio kuipachika hapa kwa hiyo itakuwa ni kwamba tutakuwa na kitu kinaitwa density ya a ya fluid hiyo area at this at this side 
Elia 1 labda na hii itakuwa Elia 2 Elia A na change ni x a over time ziko tu denzite b area b change in x b over time so kama utakuwa makini hapo kiangalia watu hizi velocity vile tunaomba something ch- distance ch- change in distance rate of change of distance make rate of change of distance make kuna change of distance x ya hapa tayari ina time hapo kama make anakuwa na velocity kwa hiyo hichi kitu hichi itakuwa ni velocity hichi hichi itakuwa ni velocity so a formula now it will be kama ni density a then area a kwa velocity a is equal to density b area b and velocity what b but kama kutotokea na seek kama hiyo 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 pipe itakuwa haijatoboka toboka au haijatoboka toboka wala hamna upotevu wote wa liquid ile kutokea then this is point a and this is point b so density at point a kwa sababu ile fluid ni moja na density wa ivali at ivali na time wala na, na distance yoyote kwa vo, distance nalia density a is b equal to density at b so if that is the case then density a area a velocity a is equal to density b density a is standard but the change moja ifanana na zake then area a velocity at hii ni huko ni b na huko ni b so huyu na huyu ata cancel sana formula itabakia kwamba ni area a va is equal to area b vb au watu wengine utakuta mbaya mbaya ndio kwamba av is equal to constant kwa kesi ni kwa hivyo kwamba ukipewa pipe uona cha kusema tu kama wewe unatumia a hivi tabu nyingine utaandika kwamba ni v1 a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so hii ndio formula ya mass of mass ya law mass ya continuity kuna una swali amkupa pipe amkupa na area ya huku au amkupa radius za huku amkupa na velocity iliyotokea huku au amkupa labda na velocity is equal to 20 then anakuambia find velocity iliyoingilia huku na radius ya hapa amekupa na radius ya hapa amekupa so inakuwa rahisi kwa kwamba formula ya kutafuta area is equal to what pi d square over 4 so utatumia hapo ambao diameter is equal to what is equal to 2 ala maka mkupa radius tutasema ni is equal to maki 2 ala maki itakuwa ni pi ala what pi ala square yes that is the area in term of radius na kuwa hivi then in term of diameter na kuwa hivi kwa hiyo utaingiza hapa utabadilisha hapo maki itakuwa ni pi ala square 1 v1 is equal to pi ala square 2 v2 then pi and pi will cancel to each other then ala 1 square v1 is equal to ala 2 square v1 v2 kwa today tutaenda kuishia hapa kwa sababu ndo concept ya tu mwanzo tulisoma tutaishia hapo so thank you for watching na kama unakuwa unahitaji vipindi vingine basi tutawasiliana kupitia namba za simu ambazo ni 0639362424 kwa kama unakuwa unahitaji msaada wote wa physics basi tutakuta kwa namba hizo hapo